Yeah, thanks for accepting my request and accepting to talk with me. Yeah, no problem, no problem. It sounds it's not a problem to me. It sound like a customer who wants to figure out, you know, what we do. So I thought it'd be nice to share. So I have gone through your profile, so I thought uh, I have seen that uh, you you are a restaurant owner. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say we're a restaurant owner. I would say we're a pop up restaurant. So we don't have a actual home. We just have pop ups in different parts of the city. That's the goal of it. So Coco Heart. Yeah. So Coco. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Coco Heart. So actually, um, we started this business at the beginning of this year. So it's pretty new, pretty brand new. Um, it's uh, it's something I actually do on the side. It's like a passion project of mine. And um, I came from a background of engineering, and I actually have a full-time job in something else. Okay. Uh, came because of COVID. It was I had a lot of time on my hands, and I wanted to share like food that I served at home. My parents and my grandma served such great food at home, and I wanted to share that culture, especially in our part of the city. So you live in. I live, so we live in Mississauga, Ontario, so on the west end of Toronto in okay. Canada. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you are an engineering student, right? Uh, I'm done engineering. I'm a, I'm a chemical engineer. <laughs> chemical <laughs> yeah. engineer, okay. So I'm a, I, I'm an engineering, uh, I have done my engineering, uh, you know, I've done master's in computer uh, software engineering. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, but I'm doing something else like you are doing. Yeah, yeah, see, like it's... Uh, uh, I always tell people, I think the engineering is a, a good foundation. It doesn't mean that you have to work as an engineer. Yeah. You get to think like an engineer with whatever you do. And that's the beauty, right? We get to apply it with whatever we want to do. Yes, right? exactly. So why this thought? Uh, when you got this thought and who inspired you uh, to start this? For Coco Hot. Yeah. The inspiration, I would say, came from my past food. Over the past few years, I just gravitated to food. I was that kid who was, instead of watching TV shows, I was watching the cooking channel, right? I was watching Food Network. Um, but obviously, in my household, I have two amazing chefs, which is like my grandma and my mom. I think their food is phenomenal. And I wanted to share that type of food with people. I felt so lucky and privileged that, you know, I got to try and eat this food all the time. So whenever my friends would come over, I'm like, oh, take this or try this. Right. So I took that and I did a little bit of a twist of it. So because, you know, you know, we live in Canada and there isn't, you know, Sri Lankans everywhere, Sri Lankan restaurants everywhere. Um, I needed something that could grab people and, you know, get people to come try our food. Right. Um, for people who've never had it before. So I started this, you know, just on the side, I started this hot chicken sandwich. You know, everyone likes a fried chicken sandwich, um, but I infused this Sri Lankan Tamil spices in it. Um, which made it a little bit different and a little bit new, like unique. Um, but that was that was the goal, right? Grab people in to try this and then try other stuff on the menu. Like that was that was what I was thinking initially. But you know, that was really well. so this logo is very good. The the logo of your business is fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, inspiration from coconut. A lot of uh, cooking with coconut in my house. Coconut is thing to us, you know. Coconut is beautiful. <laughs> so uh, the logo itself shows that uh, there will be uh, uh, food items which are related to uh, the coconut. Exactly, exactly. So our biggest seller is our chicken sandwich. Uh, on the sandwich is our our you know homemade coconut sambal. Uh, it's a little spicy, it's a little tangy, but it brings this sandwich together. So that's that's for our biggest seller. We also do these coconut roti tacos, you know, coconut infused in in the roti shell, um, which is you know pretty tasty. And then for our lump rice, we a lot of our curries use coconut milk, right? So coconut is infused in most of our dishes. So you took this coconut concept from your uh, two chefs that you have in your home. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's something that we use all the time, right? It, it didn't make sense not to use coconut in our dishes, right? Why would I take it away from something that we use? I mean, it's, and it tastes amazing, right? 
Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, what are the different uh, uh, food items that they uh, that people can get from your restaurant? Yeah. So it depends on the pop up. It depends on where we're you know what we're doing that day because it's all up to us. We get to choose you know what's on the menu. But uh, the few things that we serve is the the hot chicken sandwich uh, and a hot tofu sandwich for vegetarian. And we also do a, a vegan option as well. And then there's our coconut roti tacos with the, my grandma's you know recipe chicken curry or her soya curry for vegetarians. Uh, similarly, you know, we have veg and meat options for most of our menus. And then there is our lump rice dish. Um, and I'm not sure if you know what lump rice is, but it's this gorgeous um, you know, banana leaf filled with the samba rice and a few different curries, uh, veg and non-veg, uh, all wrapped together and, you know, heated up and all that banana leaf, you know, aromas get infused in the food. And it's, it's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. So the food item names are that you have put or uh, you have took reference from any other food items in the world uh, restaurants? Um, I think uh, the, the coconut roti tacos and the hot chicken sandwich is uh, fairly, fairly different. Um, you know, I don't think a lot. I think it's pretty unique. The lump price is something that's common in Sri Lankan culture. Um, we, we've changed a little uh, some of the curries around uh, versus the common ones. We have the eggplant and plantain curry. Uh, we're, all, we're doing a mango a mango and potato curry. We're doing a coconut infused beetroot curry in there, which not nobody really does, but it's in it's in Sri Lankan culture, but no one really puts it in a, a lump rice. Uh, but yeah, we we you know I, I don't want to go away from the culture. Like you know I, I want to keep it, but I want to do something different. The, the stuff that I really like and what I grew up eating, and I wanted to put it in. Are you from Sri Lanka? I am actually. I was born in Canada. My parents are uh, from Sri Lanka, and um, that's actually a huge part of you know, where the story began, right? Like, um, if my parents didn't come from this country of war, well, I would probably not be here, right? So I was gifted this opportunity to be raised in this beautiful country and so much opportunity of school, jobs, food, right? A lot of things that, you know, they didn't have there because of the war. So with, with this business, um, it was very important to me to also give back Right. And also break those barriers that, you know, we're fighting in society. One of them being discrimination. Right. So obviously uh, the food items that you took uh, will be new for Canadians because they are not connected with Sri Lanka like you. Yeah. 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 But there is a good there's a good Tamil population in, in Canada. Uh, there is there is a strong Tamil population in Canada. But um, in the areas that I live, there is many versus compared into the east side. But obviously, the whole difference is is the twist, the uniqueness of, you know, using, you know, different cultures, food with Sri Lankan food to either enhance it, but change it, make it unique for people to enjoy. Right. Morning time here, time here, early morning, like 10, 10, 34. Yeah, it looks beautiful outside there. It's yeah. cold. Up there, man. It's very cold. Up there. Uh, sun. <laughs> you, you can see you can see sun. I'm sure it will be new for you. <laughs> it's midnight over here. Right? It's like minus. It's completely different. Uh, 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 parts of the world we are from, and uh, you know, having yeah. conversation and talking about uh, something which is uh, something which is uh, 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 different from each other. You know what? I think I think you make a good point. Like we're on the total, you know, different sides of the world, but. Um, you asked me earlier, you know, the inspiration on the business and that stuff is coming to everyone. Um, food aspect, yes, because, you know, food, everyone has to eat it and it brings people together. Right. Um, but also what we're fighting for and what we're what we stand for is, you know, breaking the barriers of discrimination. Right. If we're able to share our culture with people who don't know our culture, it breaks that ignorance. Right. It makes them educated about our culture. It makes them want to learn. If the food is amazing, you're going to be like, oh, where is this from? What are those type of people? Right. It's like it helps people, you know, bring them closer together. It doesn't mean discrimination is going to go away. It's a step towards, you know, breaking that barrier. Right. So it's 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 different. You know, we are far away, but food brings us close. Right. And yeah, and that's what's beautiful about it. So do other country people uh, visit your restaurant? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, all kinds of people. Canada, Toronto, Misagi, we're a very diverse area. 
um, all walks of life. And the food, the food scene here is amazing because you can get any type of food you want in, like in the world. So um, we are blessed to be in an area where, you know, we have so much culture. Um, it's just, you know, bringing everyone together is the goal. Okay. So uh, the food items you, uh, that, uh, that is prepared, that is being prepared by you or uh, is there any staff? Uh, majority of the stuff, all the prep is usually me and uh, actually my, my grandma at times. But majority is me. Uh, the day of the events, because we're a pop-up restaurant, I have uh, a couple of staff members come and help me out. Some of them being family, uh, some of them being friends. But yeah, it's just, just a one-day event for the weekend. We run from, you know, uh, lunchtime to around the evening. Um, yeah. And it's, but majority of the stuff is behind the scenes is, is actually me being done. <laughs> so... Uh, how do you manage both? Uh, you already uh, having a full time job and uh, you are fulfilling your passion too. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a it's a tough tough thing to do. I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, you need to be you know you need to have a balance. That's for sure. Um, I I understand that this is uh, a side passion of mine, and you know work my full time job does come first. Uh, but also being open with my employers and them knowing you know what I'm also doing. Uh, gives me a lot of freedom and makes me, you know, not feel guilty inside because they're aware of what I'm doing. Plus, because we're a pop-up, I get to choose when we want to do the event. So it's based off my timing, not like anybody else's. So majority of the time, the pop-ups are on the weekend. You know, we don't work on the weekend. So um, all that stuff is kind of planned in for that. Uh, but it's it's not easy. It's not easy. It's it's keeping me busy. But the the reason why I was able to do this in the first place was because of COVID, right? Um, COVID made everyone stay home. We had, the, you know, everyone is home. We had a lot of time on our hands. Um, so with that time, it was planning time for me. It was me to, you know, start planning how I would execute things and roll out things. So yeah, I got kind of lucky, I would say. So what is the response that you're getting uh, for the food that you're making? I think, uh, <laughs> honestly, the response has been overwhelming, really good. Uh, now that I'm, I'm that I'm really surprised, it's just uh, again I'm not a chef, right? I'm an engineer at trade. You know, I, I you know I went to school for engineering. I you know I'm not someone who was you know cooking in the kitchen when I was five years old, six years old. I ate a lot of food. That's what I did. I did best. I ate a lot of food. I tried a lot of food, right? So uh, it's it's just very nice and very warm to hear these kind words. Um, a lot of people have been saying you guys need to open up or we need more events more often. And it, it's it's a it's a bittersweet feeling because, you know, I, I want to do it, but I can't do it right now. But hey, maybe this passion project comes into something bigger for me. Right. And I'm just taking it step by step. Uh, I don't want to force anything or rush anything. I'm just kind of letting it go. How it is. So you want to expand your business? um it would it would be nice it would be nice I, I have some ideas in mind uh but again i'm not rushing anything right now especially with you know COVID still being out there um you know i'm just you know planning and doing the things uh, as we're doing building more brand awareness uh sharing what we do food food obviously is a huge part but also our values as i mentioned earlier you know what we're doing for the community is important to me um so i want to keep doing things like that versus just you know opening up a franchise or a few franchises and just pumping out money. I didn't, I didn't really want to do that. You know, I didn't have that idea. Um, I want to just, you know, start off small, build my brand and see where it goes. So how many items uh, are there? How many food items are there in your restaurant? Well, again, it, it depends on, you know, what we're selling that day, but you know, overall I would say there's around, you know, three to four um, with veg and with veg options, I would say like six, six options of names. Um, four sides, three to four sides. Uh, what we usually do is for our events, we usually collab with another business. So we bring in, because it's, an, it's a whole event, we collab with another small business. Um, they get to put some of their uh, menu items on our, on our menu. It could be a dessert, it could be sides, it could be a main. Um, it's good for both businesses. It brings up both brands um, and it brings something new to our menu every time, right? Okay, so how many approximately? How many menu items it would per yeah. event? Yeah. Uh, total, probably around 10 items, uh, you know, with, with everything, you know, main sides, around 10 items. Yeah. 
so can uh, can a person who wants to build uh, their muscles can have your food exciting get that say it again if a person who wants to <laughs> you know wow if you are you know gym freaks uh, you know they go to exercise daily and uh, they want to just uh, build their bodies can they have the the food in your restaurant they can they oh, uh, 100% you know why um so obviously fried chicken isn't the healthiest option right Uh, however, you know, I took this into consideration. I don't actually eat a lot of fried foods. I, I actually offer a fried, um, I actually offer a baked version of hot chicken. Um, our, our breading is actually gluten free for a chicken. It's actually made from chickpea flour, uh, not like other companies who's using just, just regular flour or cornstarch. Um, you can have our hot chicken on coleslaw. You don't have to have it on a bun. We also started doing gluten free options. Um, so I would say, you know, even with our lung price, it's more of a balanced diet. We're not saying that, you know, it's not, you know, our food doesn't have calories. Our food definitely has calories, but it's balanced in terms it has nutrition, right? We're not giving you just empty calories. So I would say 100%, you know, I wouldn't say it's a, if you're going for, you know, a cheat meal, have a fried chicken sandwich. If you're wanting, you know, a balanced meal, maybe have a taco, have a lump rice because you're getting your, your proteins and veggies, your carbs all in one. Okay, so it is a it is uh, it is a combination of everybody like vegetarian and non-vegetarian. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a huge huge importance to me because uh, half my family is vegetarian, right? So um, it, it's it's something for you know if I'm gonna cater to my family, I would need to think them. I would need to make sure that you know they'd be able to be fed too, right? So that same opinion and that same take, I wanted to make it sure that you know everyone had that option, right? I didn't want to just do meat because that's not fair to the people who don't eat meat. All right so i made sure that you know we have vegetarian options we have vegan options uh we have gluten free options right so i wanted to make sure that everyone is being involved right again food is supposed to bring people together you know when you know so after starting uh, you know till now uh, which age, which age group uh, are connected with the food uh, with the menu items of yours good that's a good question i uh, i think when i started this the target audience was you know people late teens to you know mid 30s i think that was the target because the the uniqueness of you know the fusion like tamil food uh is what they would you know who would be attracted to it um but because of that youth and because of you know instagram and because of social media when they try and when they see they share with the older generation right they share with people my parents age or my grandma's age like hey we tried this or we tried this lump rice like we should try it. we should order it for the family right we all, we should all try it you know and and that's the beauty of it right because i think that target audience is the most important when you're you know targeting a business because at the end of the day they will share it with everybody right and um, and 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 that's who is consuming it majority of the time i think people in you know that age group 18 to you know in 30s uh, what is the best uh, compliment that you got i think um I, it wasn't more on the food and uh and, and i don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing but the compliment is on uh, more on what we do for the community um and you know how how proud people are or how you know that fire in our business and in in us also is now igniting that fire in other people right so it feels good to you know be that role model for the community or you know showcase that hey every little difference makes an impact right and i think that's the biggest compliment that i've been getting and i've been getting reached out a lot just because you know for every sandwich we sell we're actually donating $1 to each uh, of each sandwich to food share toronto which is a food insecurity um uh, a uh, nonprofit right and they work on you know making sure that we we attack this problem of people not being able to eat people not being able to put food on the table there's a huge problem in canada even though you know we're a great country one in seven canadians suffer from not being able to put food on the table right so um that compliment of you know helping the community is probably the most important to me and and maybe that's why it resonates with me a little bit more uh most of the people who lives in urban area you know uh, they won't see this coconut trees and all the you know you live in a country where it is connect, you know there is a lot of your country is a symbol of nature i think you, you know what it's it's it is actually that's not true because i live in a city where you can't find coconut trees you can't find it in in, in canada right this is something that you know you find in in east you know in, in asia 
right? And Southeast Asia, coconut trees are are everywhere. And uh, and and this is part of like my my family's you know heritage because they always my parents would always talk about we had coconut trees outside the house. We used to get fresh coconut and grade coconut every morning. Every single morning they're grading coconut. That was one of their jobs, right? That they had to do. So uh, nobody, you know, no one, no one can see. I know, I know you like the logo because it, it's definitely because there's some importance there. And, and actually, my parents like the logo as well. They like it because it actually shows them a little part of home. Yeah, I connected with it uh, when I saw it uh, uh, because uh, my grandmother, uh, you know, my grandfather, my grandmother, where they live, they have the coconut uh, tree, and they're very near to me right now. It's like uh, uh, meters ago, they, they they have the coconut tree, and we have the coconuts uh, 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 in the, uh, on the tree. So, yeah. so me seeing that, you know, I was thinking that in Canada there may be coconut trees. That is why the reason this restaurant mm-hmm. is there, and uh, you know, yeah. uh, they are making this kind of food. Yeah, no, and 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 that's exactly not it. That we don't have any coconut trees here. I wanted to share this. How great coconut is, right? Yeah, people. yeah. Right the reason right like we wanted to yeah. share right so, so people are connecting to it so can can uh, all other country people can know this by seeing this uh, uh, logo can they understand that this is a this is a coconut tree they can, do they know that uh, the name of yeah. the tree i think they're putting it together because you know every even with i think maybe not off the first glance they're like maybe that's not a coconut tree maybe they think it's a palm tree right yeah, um, yeah. But, I think once they realize that all the stuff on the menu has coconut on it, yeah. um, they start they start putting everything together. I don't know if you see it, but there's like a coconut coming right off the tree, you know? The, the yeah. Coconut, the, the rose. Yeah. Do yeah. they ask uh, questions like, you know, what is this tree? Uh, we don't know this tree because uh, we are in Western country or we are from Eastern, you know? I think people are aware of, you know, coconut trees because, you know, we sell a lot of coconut water that's, you know, we bring into the country, right? Okay. It, yeah. People are aware of it. It's just, you know, I think the strong, you know, appreciation for it is a little different to people. They're like, why, why do they care about coconuts so much? Or why is this so por- important to them? And I think that's what, you know, the questions are more about. Um, but, you know, as they soon try the food, they realize that coconut is amazing. <laughs> So you are telling that in this restaurant, uh, people can get uh, other than uh, uh, the food that is made other than coconut also. Yeah, I would say majority of the, I, I would say all uh, majority of the products have coconut in it and not just not the full dish is coconut, but either in a coconut milk or coconut shred, like in a sambal, right? Um, there's, there's pieces of coconut in it, right? Something is infused with coconut in it. So what are the minerals and the vitamins are there in the coconut? By well, majority, you know, it's healthy fats, right? I think coconut is, is high in calories, but it's it's healthy fats, right? So uh, there's lots of nutrition in eating coconut, similar to, you know, how avocados blew up. I don't know if you know this, but avocados in even in Sri Lanka and India, people, eat, you know, have all the time and as a dessert. I don't know if my parents have it as a dessert, but no one has it as a dessert here, right? They have it on their toast, right? It's an avocado toast, you know, that it blew up. Similarly, yeah. on it, I want to do that with Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. How did you? How did you end up finding it? How did you? So I, I just was uh, searching. This is my job. Daily, I will see people who are doing different things in the world. So I, uh, you know, I saw this, uh, the logo. So it, uh, it was interesting. You know, I saw the Canada flag. So in Canada, and uh, uh, this logo is there, which means, uh, I, you know. We don't find that uh, Canada is completely different from uh, India, and I live in South India. I live in especially in uh, in uh, Hyderabad. It's a city. It's completely busy city. You can hear the the sounds, the vehicle sounds, the construction. It's very busy. But it's uh, your your the place where you live is completely opposite. It will be like very broad roads, very lengthy roads, and you have less population. Have you been to Canada? I'm coming to Canada this year. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm get, I got I got a job in uh, Toronto. I didn't confirm if 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 that is confirmed, I will come and I will visit your restaurant and I will taste all the foods and I will give the feedback to my audience. You yeah, you have to you have to. That's congratulations. That's a big move. Uh, hopefully you get to come as soon as you know because COVID stuff is over. Uh, it's yeah. gonna be 
Wait, so you, but you still have never been here. This is, you still have no. never. No. So that's like that's gonna be. You're gonna move. You're gonna move permanently. Where you're gonna. You're right. Yeah. You're gonna. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Big move for you. Congratulations. Thank you. I already got a ECA from BCIT University. Uh, my education standard is equal to uh, the masters of uh, Canadian. Amazing. Uh, yeah. So I'm trying for a job, and I got the job. Uh, uh, it it didn't confirm. I have two, two, three options. If one's confirmed, uh, so I'm going to be there, and uh, I'm going to have this kind of a different, uh, you know. Uh, the people, you know, you are very, you are into chemical engineering and uh, you are doing, uh, you know, you are doing a uh, cooking work, uh, which is, uh, which is amazing. I never saw any engineering uh, person who studied this and doing this and which is very good. And you, you know, ingredients, what to put and how to make it. And you are doing it for yourself. It's, yeah, great. it's true. It's true. But, and I think you know this too, because you're a fellow engineer, but if you if you study engineering you can take that application with yeah. anything you can apply that with it's literally process efficiency process understanding that aspect is the most important part and apply it to life right yeah <laughs> yeah so at last uh, do you have anything to say about uh, your your restaurant and uh, about anything that you want to tell or uh, uh, there will be a lot of people who will be watching video from anywhere on this planet so yeah. you want to collaborate or you want to you want them to contact you or have any kind of a message to them i just wanted to say thanks for reaching out um i appreciate you know you know taking the time to reach out uh it was a little you know it was a little weird for me to, to see a message from someone i didn't know that wanted to make a video <laughs> but i said hey it may be it's a customer they want to know about the business might as well tell them um, um and yeah i would say you know whenever i would say follow us on instagram to hear about our events that's that's the way to order it sells out pretty quickly so if you're, you're trying to order some food make sure you follow us because you release the menu on instagram and it'll sell out pretty quick so you're following us um and and the biggest part is i want you know the most important piece of this with the business is making food you know close to the so i really appreciate you doing an interview like this on opposite sides of the world and we're having a chat about food yeah to that point where food can just bring anything together but it also takes the right people and i like what you're doing so keep it up so yeah so uh, any any collaborative messages any no i, I actually i actually don't have any collaborations i, I would like to um my the, the people that I donate uh, to is called Food Share, uh, and they're a nonprofit that looks over you know food insecurity in the city, and so you know if you know how in Canada we are struggling to put food on the table, but it's not talked about as often because we're such a great country and we are, but one in seven people are struggling to put food on the table, and that's not a that's not a good number. So if you're can you know if if people want to learn more about the food insecurity issues in, in, in Canada and Toronto, uh, please look up Food Share Toronto. They're doing great work. And um, that's where some that's where some of our proceeds for the event go to. Okay. So I'll put uh, all your uh, website or Instagram, all your links in the description of this video. People who find our video anywhere uh, in, uh, on the internet, they will, uh, they can uh, have any conversation or any kind of collaborations and yeah, they can, have chat with you. they can know what exactly you are preparing and uh, what exactly they can get from your uh, restaurant. Maybe you will be uh, increasing the number of uh, the food items in coming days because you just started in in just few uh, months or days before. So I'm sure it is going to be very big. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I uh, appreciate the time. It's it's over midnight here. It's almost yeah. time to go. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Thanks for calling. Take care. Um, check out Coco Hot for our next pop up. Okay. Thank you, man. For you in your in your midnight, you gave me time and uh, uh, gave your valuable time and uh, accepted to talk with me. No problem, man. Stay safe. Okay. Can I can I put this video and audio on uh, my uh, YouTube channel on social media on internet on podcast everywhere with your permission? You have my permission. Uh, as long as you have nothing bad to say about me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kidding we're good we have my permission there take care yeah. when, you, when you come to toronto give me a call definitely i will visit you all right sounds good
All right. Take care. Everybody. Yeah. Take care. Bye.